Okay, this one's on schematic diagrams. I'm going to do a bunch of them on schematics uh, or ladder diagrams, whichever you want to call them. This is a very simple diagram. And this is the way it would be laid out for uh, a schematic. Schematic diagrams are they're working diagrams so you can tell how the uh, the uh, piece of equipment actually works. The position of the diagrams is not anywhere close to how it would be actually in the appliance. There are position diagrams on some units and there's wiring diagrams but those are pretty much not schematics. If I'm trying to find out how something works, I use a schematic diagram. Now most equipment has schematic diagrams on them and wiring diagrams, sometimes installation and sometimes position diagrams that give position of all the components. Um, they don't all have it. I would not, never want to say that all diagrams follow the same rules because they don't. Uh, but there are some general ideas that are usually followed. And this, this simple one here has all the components that you would have. You have a power source, you have a load, which could, you know, is what you're actually trying to operate, and a switch to control the load. In this case, the manual switch. Now, if you don't know what some of the diagram or what some of the symbols mean, I do have a symbols. Uh, video that goes over those and tells you which one is which for uh, common HVAC uh, equipment. Uh, now I notice up in the upper left we have an L1 and in the upper right we have a neutral. So this is a 120 volt circuit, has one power lead, one neutral lead. Uh, the latter, of course, is the two vertical lines. Okay, now I'm showing where the power is available. Now, if you look on the left side from L1, power is available right down to the switch. And you look on the right side, power is available down the neutral through the load and up to the switch. So the only thing that is keeping this uh, circuit from operating is the open switch. Now what we've done is we've closed the switch. Now that means the load's going to be energized. We're calling it energized when it's, uh, there's a complete circuit. So you have power moving through this entire circuit now and the load is actually uh, doing some sort of work. Now, most circuits, and there are uh, exceptions, but most circuits are going to have only one load. They may have multiple switches that control it, but they'll only have the one load. I will show you exceptions because there will be exceptions, but uh, in general they're going to have one low. And if I were to read this diagram, I would say there's power to the load through a normally open uh, switch, manual switch. When I close the switch, power passes through the switch and energizes the load. That is pretty much the simplest out there. Uh, diagrams are much, much more complicated than that in many of these uh, appliances, and I, I've got quite a few of them to go through, and we will add things as we go, and we'll add different symbols and so on. And that'll do it uh, for the first part of reading schematics. Lots more coming.